Hi guys, welcome back to a new creative things to do when you're bored video. I'm not gonna do a long intro today and we're gonna get right into the first DIY. I often get comments under my videos that say I can paint, I'm not that artistic, I'm not good at drawing, I can't do this. So for the first DIY, you don't need to know how to paint. You just need to know how to color. And you don't need to be artistic, but you can still do art. And it's a cure for boredom, at least for me. So the first DIY is to make your own coloring book. And I've been wanting to make one for myself for a while now because I'm someone who spends way too much time on their phone. Like whatever I'm doing, I'm always checking my phone. Even if I'm watching a TV show or a YouTube video, I'm always also on my phone at the same time and I really want to stop that, I want to change that so I decided to make this coloring book so whenever I'm watching a TV show or I listen to a podcast and I get the urge to check my phone or to go on social media or to just be on my phone I use this coloring book instead and to make it I just went on Pinterest and looked up coloring book and then printed out some pages and then put them all together As a kid I love coloring books because they're so fun and easy and it takes the stress away from painting and drawing because sometimes painting and drawing gets stressful because I want to do it perfectly and I don't want to mess up the drawing or if it doesn't look good then I'm not satisfied and with a coloring book you just need to color and it still looks pretty so you feel more accomplished when it's done and it's way better than just wasting your time on your phone. This DIY has been on my list for things I wanted to make for so long. I saw it so many times on TikTok, but somehow I never made it. But now the day has finally come and it's a bookmark, this butterfly bookmark. And if you remember me from like two years ago, I think it was two years ago when I did my room makeover and you know that I was obsessed with butterflies and like the whole cottage core aesthetic and I had so many butterflies in my room so this is kind of like a throwback for me and my old self and I still love butterflies they're one of my favorite animals so I think this bookmark is such a cute DIY and I've been getting back into reading and I love reading fantasy books especially fantasy romance books and I feel like this butterfly bookmark fits perfect for those type of books I wish I had started this DIY when I was still a teenager because I love photo albums. When I was younger I used to look through my mom's old photo albums and I just love it. And I love looking through the pages and seeing different pictures from different stages of my life. And it's kind of sad because I feel like since people have phones and use their phones to take pictures, nobody really makes photo albums anymore or it's not that common anymore since people don't use cameras. And I realized I'm doing that too. I never print out any photos, but this year I changed that and started to make my own scrapbook. You can also do a regular photo album where you just print out the photos and then put them in a book, but I want to make it look a little more exciting and special. And if you need any inspiration, go on Pinterest and look up scrapbook. There are so many different ways you can do it and different ideas on how you can do the different pages and how you can decorate them. By the way, if you're wondering why there's some white spots, um, I blurred out some people's faces for privacy reasons and also I write little text next to the pictures, but I also blurred them out. I'm really looking forward to summer and summer activities because winter was so depressing and I had nothing to do, but in summer I just started living again. And I like starting to make plans for summer in spring already, so I have something to look forward to. And I thought the best way to make these plans is to visualize them by making a vision board or like a summer bucket list vision board. So I went on Pinterest, looked up some pictures of some fun activities and just pictures that looked like a fun summer. And I used my iPad to put them all on a page
and also added text that said summer vision board and now i'm just looking forward to summer even more and it helps me to plan my summer and make plans with friends because sometimes i have an idea and then i forget it and then i don't remember it in summer but now i can always look on that vision board to remember all the things i want to do this year i moved into my new room in october and i'm still not done with my room makeover However, it's almost done and this was part of it because my walls were so empty and I wanted some posters and I bought some online but I also wanted to paint some for myself so I used my mirror ball for a reference and also looked up different painted mirror balls on Pinterest and then I started with drawing the mirror ball and then I painted it. This was actually easier than expected because I just had to fill in what I had drawn before with paint. And in the end I also added some white and black details to make it look more realistic. And then it was done and I hung it on my wall. I actually think I did something similar to this in one of my old DIY videos, but I don't really remember. But I had these old juice bottles sitting in my room and I used them as a vase for my flowers whenever I get some. But I wanted to paint them, so I painted some flowers on them. Actually, I wasn't really satisfied with the first vase because I didn't put that much effort into it. And you know me, I'm kind of a perfectionist, so if I don't like something, I have to redo it. So I redid it and I took a little bottle and painted some simple flowers on it again. But for some reason, I like this one more. Oh, and by the way, I used acrylic paint for this. And if you decide you don't want to paint on a glass bottle anymore, you can just wash it off. Those are all the ideas for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope this video maybe cured your boredom and helped you be more creative. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!